Alright, hey everybody. Uh, I'm back in this video. And I'm going to be showing you guys um, about capturing and making harmonies and winning the game. Alright, so making harmonies iced, uh, they have to be five spaces or within sp five spaces apart. Um, I used to have that they had to be right next to each other. And that makes games really long. I kind of prefer it that way. But, uh, you know, some I've had some people say that they they usually play that if it's on the same line, then they get a harmony. But I, I just thought that was way too easy, so I compromised with them. So five spaces uh, maximum that they can be captured or make a harmony. Um, as you know, there's the harmony ring. Hold on, let me set that up for you real quick. I forgot about that. Okay, so there's the harmony ring. And if they are right next to each other, then they are in harmony. If they're on opposite sides, like the jasmine and the rose, then they can capture each other, their opposites. And if they're, you know, neither, like the chrysanthemum and the jasmine, or, you know, any tiles like that, then they're neutral, so they have no effect on each other. But you can use that to your advantage to make harmony rings. And it can get a little confusing here, because I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you how to use neutral tiles to make a chain instead of having to use tiles that are all uh, in harmony and so you have to use you know just that uh, setup so here we have a jasmine and see the jade and the chrysanthemum are both neutral tiles and depending on if I want to use a lily or a rhododendron I'll, I'll pick which one you want to make sure that the neutral tile that you use is not in disharmony with either of them. So I'm going to use the jade and the jasmine. So let's say I have a lily and a jasmine here and I uh, want to make a harmony with them but they're oh well th I guess this would mostly apply to if you played that you have to make harmonies right next to each other and this would be a lot of help. Um, so you have those two harmon those two tiles but um you know, you want to use a neutral tile to connect them because you're bored of all that uh, original setup and you want to branch out and become awesome at Pi Show. Then you can use a jade, which is neutral to the jasmine and in harmony with the lily. And from that, you can actually get two points. You get one for the jade and lily, which is, you know, a normal harmony, and one for the jasmine and the lily. Uh, connected by the jade, so you get you know you get two points for that, and that's really good. Um, I think in my rules uh, prior to what I have right now, I had it that you can get double points if all the harmonies are in their own color. So like this, um, all three of them are white tiles; they're all in the white spaces. So you would get double for that. Um, it's up to the players whether you play that way. Um, due to playing with people that have their own rule sets and we've had to compromise um, you know we haven't played with that um, so if you use a different neutral tile say the chrysanthemum you have a disharmony here so you don't get a point for that um, if you play with disharmonies you get minus a point for that but this is neutral right here so you don't get anything for that you you really just get the um, disharmony uh, if you don't play with disharmonies then it really doesn't do anything but the you know if it's if these two are two different people then if the lily moved here or whatever and it's your turn you can you know capture that right there um so that's that um, to win by harmonies, you can get a preset amount. I usually go with like 30 or 50 or something like that. 
um, nice and high because on every turn um, you can play that the points are renewed for every harmony or you can play so that way every harmony you make only gets that one point for the first time it's made. I usually play the second way um, so that way you make a harmony that's the only point you get for that one um, for every three turns so I have that Lillian uh, <clears throat> Jasmine tile and those two are in harmony you get one point for that and then three turns later so you know that's made person goes your turn person goes your turn <laughs> they go and then it's a point so every three turns you get a point um, or you can play so that way you get a point for every turn that that's still intact um, so that's why it's usually up to the players to uh, decide how many points you have to try to get up to um, another way to win although I should probably uh, tell you guys I usually save it for White Lotus Gambit is to make a harmony ring around the center <laughs> Um, I can't emphasize enough it's around the center because I played a game once and the person I was playing against was confused and they thought they had to, they just had to make a ring anywhere. So they made it over here and uh, they are like, okay, I won. And they didn't. <laughs> I was like, no, you got to get, get it in the center. Um, and it's kind of, you, you want to make sure a good strategy is that you don't make a big clump of harmonies. You want to try to break it up every now and then because the <clears throat> opponent can use their knotweed to take out a whole bunch at once. Um, good, uh, you could do, if you have a whole box of tiles, is you can put a rock right in the center and that kind of protects it. But, you know, if you have a harmony there that you don't want to block, you can risk it. You can put a, a lotus or a dragon there. And that'll fix it. Alright, so now for capturing. Opposites can capture each other. So, you know, three spaces away, Jasmine's turn just goes over, takes the Jasmine out, you put the Jasmine on the side, and, you know, wherever you want to put it. I usually put it in the yellow spaces because they're not used very much. And you don't get a point for that, but it's taken out. Um... Yeah, um, that's pretty much it for capturing. Um, t hmm. For more things to uh, win the game, you can take out uh, all the tiles but three harmonious tiles. Um, that includes on the board or uh, in the reserve pile. Um, that usually takes a really, really long time, so... Uh, points are usually the way to win, which is why you might really want your <laughs> to keep your lotuses. I usually use all my uh, lotuses first. Uh, that's just my strategy. I don't know. I like to put them all out there. Get a lot of points. Um, special uh, element tiles can take each other out, so a wheel can land on a wheel, and that's really important to remember. Because I had a wheel at one point that was about to uh, take out a dragon. And someone moved their wheel and captured mine. <laughs> so, yeah, you really want to remember that. Rocks and knotweeds can't move. Um, the, you know, the rock blocks harmonies, disharmonies, um, and the knotweed kills all tiles adjacent to it in the, you know, in the box. Uh, and that cross there, and a boat pushes tiles, and that's, I think that's it, <laughs> uh, ending around 30 seconds early, and if you guys want to play a game, you know my email is mario20849 at yahoo.com, or if you want to set the rules, you know, ask any advice, uh, I, I would really like some feedback on any more videos that you would like me to make. Uh, you know, things to uh, put a video on about. And that's it. See you guys later.